Hello again, Jane here with another app review and today we're going to be looking at Diptych PDQ and this is a photography app to make collages with your photos. Now to take a photo you can either take one within the app and use the camera within the app or if you want to add photos from your camera roll you can do, you just tap add photos and then it'll bring up all the photos in your camera roll and you just tap the ones that you want to add and press done and it'll automatically add them into the photo frames for you. And then once they're there you can tweak them to however you want them to be positioned like so, you can just move them up and down. If you want to change the brightness and things and contrast you just tap it once and it brings up all the different settings so you can change that if you want to really easily. You can also change the direction so if you want it to face the other way, if you want it to be upside down you can do that too. And that's just by tapping the photo and you can do that on both. Then if you decide you want to change the photo frame you can do that too, you just tap which one you want to and you can change the different collage that you have there and it'll just, if you do more than what the photos you have it'll just repeat them like so. So we'll go back to that one. Then for borders, if you just tap up here, you've got options here. So you press borders and here you can choose different colours and different thicknesses and shape. So to choose the colours you just use the sliders like that really easily and that's for the darkness and brightness as well. If you want black or white and again you can tweak them when they're on black as well if you want it to different colours if you fancy having a colour in your photo then the frames these are the different thicknesses so as you can see you can make it as thick as you want and you can also choose the shape of it as well if you want it to be curved slightly as well and that's as far as it'll go like so and then again you can just tweak your photos if you want to so if you want to do something like that you can do then when it's all ready you just press the share button and it'll ask you if you want to add any more filters or anything. So if you want to add filters like so, you can do. Like that, which I think looks pretty cool. There's quite a few filters there that you can look at. And when you're happy with it, you press save. And it will then save it for you. And if you want to while you're there, you can either tweet it, email it, or message it. And um, there's other options here as well, like print, and if you want to send it to Instagram or copy, you can even airdrop it as well. If you don't, just press cancel and the photo's there. If you want to add another one, you just press reset and it'll reset it from the beginning and then you, again you just go to your camera roll to choose some more photos if you want to. So it's really easy to use, super quick and if you want to swap photos around, say if you wanted to swap these two um, bottom ones, you just tap them both at the same time, Oops. like so and it swaps them around. So it's really easy to use and it looks really cool as well if you want to make lots of collages. So that's a Diptych PDQ. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.